Animate Diff is the premier way to create AI generated animations. Now there are new developments popping up every single day and the latest craze is by combining Animate Diff and Prompt Traveling to give you more control of what your animation consists of. In one of my previous videos, I showcased the method of taking the final frame of your first animation and blending it to the first frame of your second animation. But now, since we have prompt traveling, I'm going to show you a way to do that kind of style, but a lot easier and more effective. In this video, we are going to be using Animate Diff with the Automatic 1111 extension. If you do not have either of those, I would start here. And if you're a seasoned veteran with Automatic 1111, the timestamp to jump straight to the action is right there. Now, without any further chit chat, let's get right to it. First things first, we need to install the Prompt Travel extension. Navigate to the Extensions tab, go to Available, click the Load From, and you'll see all these pop up. And then just look up Prompt Travel. And there it is. I already have mine installed. Just install it, and then check for updates, apply it, and restart user interface. And actually, I would just go ahead, close this out, the command prompt, and then just relaunch the web UI, just to make sure that it works. You'll know that it installed correctly if you go down to the script section here, and you'll see prompt travel. Now we actually don't need to enable this for this to work. So for the first method, we're just going to use the text to image tab. So the way you want to structure this, so you want to label the frame, so we'll start at frame zero. Then I will just do a dog running through water, and then, Let's do frame eight. Let's do a cat running through water. And then let's do frame 16. So I want this to be a 24 frame animation. We'll just do this mouse running through water. A 24 frame animation. And then we'll do, let's do eight frames per second. So, oops, 24 frames. And everything is pretty Pretty good, default settings are just fine. And then again, we're not going to enable the prompt travel script. We don't need it to work. We just need it to be installed for this to be recognized. So now that we have that, I'm running the Dream Shaper model as usual. So I'm going to enable these and then we're just going to generate. And so you'll, you'll see that in the command prompt, it is recognizing that we have initialize the prompt travel even though it is not enabled here so we don't again we do not need to enable that for this to work and now just like that we have a animation that follows our prompt structure the first eight frames are a dog then it morphs into a cat and then morphs into a mouse and it is running through what it is obviously very goofy it works so you can also set a master prompt for the animation which will be applied to every single instance. So, so for example, let me just do mountain scene sunset. And now we have the master prompt. So this will be applied to every single instance. So we'll have a dog running through water with a background of a mountain scene during a sunset and et cetera, et cetera, a cat and a mouse. Let's generate. This didn't turn out the best can't even really tell what animal it is. Let's play with the weights. So fun tip too, if you didn't know, you can just highlight the word you want to increase the weight of, hold control or command, and just up and down arrow. This is just to emphasize what we want to see because everything else is showing up just fine, but you can't really tell what the fuck is running through the water. So hopefully this works. And oh my goodness, would you look how beautiful that is. This is still the early days of AI animation, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I'm out of breath. Just doing some pull-ups while this is rendering. Ba BOOM! But you can see in the grand scope of things how powerful this actually is. And this is kind of an extreme example. I mean, it's literally changing forms while still performing an action, which is running through water, while keeping the consistency of the background that we want. Mountains, you know, river, sunset. So even though it is very questionable in terms of quality this shit's just amazing and again that's just a very extreme example 
let's do something a little more practical. Because I don't want to take five to 10 minutes to come up with a complex high quality prompt, I'm going to use the Tyrant prompt generator. And the universal way to test the quality of a new art style is to create a beautiful woman. So let's do portrait of a beautiful woman wearing a dress. And we need a semicolon 30 words. So then we just copy that and then paste it here. So for this technique, I'm actually going to use the image to image tab. So I need an image. So I'm gonna disable animate diff and generate. All right, that is beautiful. So we're gonna send that to image to image. Now again, we're going to use the same length, but in this, let's just do serious face, then frame eight. We want her to start doing a angry face. Then frame 16, we want her to start smiling. Let's do eyes closed. And then just make sure we do the animate diff parameters. Number of frames, 24, eight frames per second. And just like that, super easy. And then on this, since it is image to image, we have the option to play with denoising strength, which coincidentally 0.75 is usually perfect. You can go a bit lower to like 0.7. Obviously, the higher the number we go, the more it's going to alter the image. We don't want to go too high because we still want to retain the similarities of the image. And we don't want to go too low because we still want the image to change. If we go too low, it's not going to change. It's going to cook. It's going to get all distorted and look like a static mess. So we're going to keep it at 0.75 for this. We're going to generate. Okay, so pretty damn good if I do say so myself. She doesn't get as angry as I would have imagined, like, like really mad. But everything else, like she's serious, gets a little, you know, pouty and then smiles with their eyes closed. So it's just, I mean, you can see the resemblance to the image too. It's not identical because the problem with getting too identical with the image is it's not going to change. So this, this is still pretty, pretty close. And again, we only use the reference image. We didn't use a master prompt. Now for shits and giggles, let's add in the master prompt. All right, I actually have not tried this yet. I have not done a master prompt with a reference image with using animate diff and prompt traveling. So it's a exclusive look because I love you. So let's generate. Okay, well, whoa, that is actually really, that is pretty damn close. The hair color is a little lighter. The little, what is it, garnish? No, that's for food. The little thing, the flowers are not flowers, but everything else, like the earring is pretty close, the necklace is pretty, everything is like, like there's nothing really missing. That is fire. The eyes are a little fucked. But again, this this is very, very basic. We only have 20 steps for sampling, and then we could even throw in some a detailer on that and just really clean it up, but I like this. I'm going to, I'm going to work with this. Yeah, definitely not bad. There are a few things that we can do to this. Obviously, it is a 512 by 512, so we're gonna bump up the resolution, and then we're eight frames a second. I mean, are you serious? So we're gonna bump that up to 60 frames a second. And I'm going to use Topaz Video AI because it is one of my favorite AI softwares for this reason. So check this out. If you already have Topaz, here are my settings to upscale. You can use the enhancement with the progressive video type with the Proteus AI model and the recover original detail setting set at 20. And with that, I'm going to export. So not only does this take a few seconds to create, but look at this. Once it's done, look, look at the difference between these. Like literally night and day. So I this, this is a must have if you're serious about generative AI animations. And I actually reached out to them to get a referral link because I wanted to share their product because I personally use this with everything I create and I want to help them out and if you want to help me out and you're interested in using this my referral links down below definitely helps me with my channel but it's not required obviously but you can definitely see the difference in quality so it is a 1024 by 1024 at a buttery smooth 60 frames per second and with that said I hope you now have sufficient information to Use prompt travel on your own to create some cool shit. Now I encourage you to join the Tyrant Empire for free and show me what you create. Or if you run into any snags or have any questions, want to pick my brain a little bit, link is down below. And it is my dream to make the Tyrant Empire the largest 
free self-improvement community in the world. Focus on self-improvement, health, skill building, generative AI art. So again, if you're interested, link is down below and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Till next time, keep conquering.